Um, I think this is a dead end. I don't, I don't see anything to operate up here. So, and I can't, I can't jump down. So, yeah. So we'll come back and figure that shit out later. Yeah, I remember that's where I fought the boss. Yeah, so I don't need to be up here. Not right now, anyway. Is there anything down here? Just this door. Yeah, I don't want to go back to the station. Okay. Oh yeah, and I can plug this in and go across and come back because there's another door over there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure about that too. It does seem to be something that comes up in Japanese games a lot where it's like, we're gonna explain in like really great detail to you elements of the plot or the setting or, or whatever. Um, and it definitely does seem to be, yeah, really prevalent in Japanese games, especially. And I'm not sure why. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody who knows more about how Japanese games work than me, I think would be able to tell you that, but cause yeah, Metal Gear does it. Parasite Eve does it. Like, there are a lot of games that are like, hey, so here is everything. <laughs> You've never explained an ecosystem in D&D &D before? I try not to, because that shit is dull. <laughs> so dull. Hey, everybody, wait 45 minutes while I explain this, like, great detail. I would rather have the players, like, work shit out on their own and be a little confused sometimes than then just like force them to read a novel about the ecosystem of my game. I think it's it's hard too because I think for uh, for a, a GM or for a creator of a game, it's hard to know how much someone needs to get started. You know, like um, this is why we have uh, the opening crawl in Star Wars or it's why, like, Blade Runner starts with that kind of, like, it's this year and this is what is true about the world. Which I kind of feel like is, I don't want to say it's lazy exactly, but I don't, I don't know. Like, I think you can get away without doing those. Hi. God damn it. Juked. Ah! You know what? Make it a bigger target. There you go. All right. Through here. Yeah, here we go. I mean, I think that stuff can be interesting to read. Right? Like, I think I'm not totally against the idea of a setting as a book in a role playing game, right? Like, giving people. No, this isn't. And I want to go across, right? Yeah. Giving people a setting book is pretty, is pretty okay because then they can choose what they like to uh, pass along and what they don't, right? And they can choose what's important to their game. And even sometimes, even little weird details like rainfall amounts during what time of year can help you like set the stage for actual dramatic scenes that are important. Um, you know, but 
I don't know. Like I was listening this morning, uh, I get uh, targeted ads like everybody else on the internet does, and I got an ad that was an interview with Kevin Smith. Um, a little short interview, a promo interview with Kevin Smith about this Relics and Rarities uh, game that, uh, that they're doing on Geek and Sundry. Uh, it's um, Deborah Ann Wall and a bunch of celebrities. Um, Bronze is in it. And Kevin Smith was talking about how he'd never played a role-playing game before and that he was so impressed that uh, Deborah had all these answers for all the questions. That like she knew everything about the world and had put all this like thought and detail into it. And on the one hand, I was like, that's cool. But on the other hand, it sets such an unrealistic expectation for GMs, right? Like, a new GM who's just watching that show for the first time, who's going to see Kevin Smith talking a big game about how, like, she had all these answers, it's going to make them feel like, oh, I have to do that too. And I feel like that's, I don't want to say dangerous, because that sounds like a bigger deal than it actually is. But, like, you know you know what I mean, though? Like, I think you, you kind of want to, like... Have that stuff set up in your head if you want, but let the players discover it when it matters. And then it leaves you room to just like make shit up as you go. Okay, all right. So I, th I think, I think if I look at this right, so the pawn, the queen and the king are on the same wall. And the, qu wait, but the queen is, Okay, let me read this one more time. Rook and the knight are on the same wall. Okay, I got that. Bishop and the queen. Oh, and the queen and the rook are op opposite each other. Okay. All right. The rook, the king, and the knight are all on one wall. So the knight, I think this is the king. I'm going to just try this, and it'd be really cool if this was just, like, right the first time. But we'll see. Okay. The king. And then I think I have the rook here. And then across from the rook. Is the queen. Uh, no. No, I have that backwards. Okay. Because the pawn is there. So maybe these are switched. Queen might be there, and then the king is here. And then across from the queen, who's in the middle, would be the rook. And the bishop would be there. You get it? Come on. Nope. God. Shit. All right. Well, I thought, hmm, okay. Oh, did I put the rook in? I think I have the rook and the queen in the wrong place. Okay, so this one is the queen. Because I thought the king and the queen were on the same one. No, it said the bishop and the queen weren't next to each other. Yeah. And then this is the rook. This maybe? Because then this is the, yeah, this is the king. There we go. Okay, yeah, I just flipped the queen and the rook. There we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, almost there, Ada. Yeah, almost there, Ada. I'm really glad that didn't take a bunch of time because I would have gotten really frustrated with it, I think. I guess having these puzzles allows you to reuse the same locations like a lot. Like it gets a lot more mileage out of uh, out of any given location because you have to go back through it a bunch of times. So that's one reason you might make a game like this that's all dungeon puzzle horseshit. Because you're like, we're going to make this environment and then we're going we're to make you dash through it 7,000 times. Which is fine. That's part of like the constraints of design, right? Eat. 
Yeah, we were talking before about how like it has some stuff in common with Dark Souls. Yep. Yep, I agree. All right. Jesus Christ. Hi. Well, I was going to use that door. Fucking asshole. Oh, he just punches through the ceiling wherever you are, and we gotta get him to punch something. Here, punch this. Fuck, I just wanna move out of the way before he hits me, but. No, punch over here, fucko. No, okay. The room is slowly becoming more on fire. Oh, hi. You can't hurt me. I got all kinds of herbs. and take that herb before I get all fucked up again. Here we go. Stop squishing me. Headbutt him in the eyeball. He's got multiple heads. Pick one. <sighs> okay. All right. Cool. It's a one-shot kill. And he just squeezes you for five minutes and then throws you off the edge. Yeah, it is the eyeball guy we shot or we fought before. Any more grenades? No. What the fuck is happening right now? Like, I have to hit him with the thing, right? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Good. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got something. I hit something with the thing. I should head. I have a tiny, a tiny burst of fire for you. There's like a, there's a knife somewhere on this platform, supposedly. Oh, good, mag bullets, perfect. <sighs> Come on, Leon. No, we don't know anything about this guy yet. So any, any actual information would be a spoiler. Hi, I gotta move. <sighs> Leon, you're slow. You're slow as fuck, my dude. Yeah, I hit him with it, but it didn't, it's not, that's not the correct. Okay. Hey, there's uh, something else on the ground here, too. Oh, like ammo. Good. I know, right? He runs as fast as Ada, and Ada's in heals because she's great. If a bit weird. Hi, man. So... Hey! Hey, shithead! Over here! Fuck Bucket! Oh, God. I'm gonna get... 
thrown off the edge again. <laughs> Damn it. All right. I am do I'm this is like this has to be the way to defeat him, but like I would prefer uh like a well well made quick time event to this kind of like janky un uncertain hitbox shit like every time. Like I can sort of run away from him, but not really. K kinda, sorta. Yeah, like you can sort of stun him for a half second, but I just also—it's more the hitbox, more my own hitbox that I'm confused about. I don't know where I'm supposed to be hiding is the thing. No. So I gotta, I think it's like all the way over. Yeah, all the way over to one side. No, I don't want that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, you have to be near the controls. Yeah, I'm trying to lure him over. How do I turn assisted mode back off? Oh, off. Where is it? Uh, controls? Yeah, so I just stay by the console and we just like poke at him. But like, yeah, how do I turn that thing that I just turned on by accident off? You kidding me? <sighs> Seriously? Like, where's the thing that just turns that off? I don't want assisted mode. I'll try to like load the game. Come here. <laughs> this is really dumb. And I'm really frustrated about that assist mode thing. I don't want it on, and the game is not letting me turn it off. Yeah, I feel like I just have to stay on this side then. <laughs> Just try to keep him down. I guess I can grab these bullets. Oh, hit the damn button. Stay there. Come on. Now I got you. Of course, I use all my bullets trying to fucking stun him. Well, now, see, now he's standing in the safe zone. Perfect. That's all right. I have like a million health now, so that's just fine.
I think if I can't if I can't stun him, I can't keep him there. Cause I run too slow to like really dodge out of the way. All the way to the other side is safe? I I don't know. Yeah, you know, they, they changed some things, but there's some stuff about this that is still incredibly, like, 1990s game design. There we go. That's fine. I'll just... It's cool. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Let's do this with... Uh, we'll, stun, we'll stun him. I won't use all my ammo. Because once he's stunned, he's stunned for a long time. Okay, man. There we go. Seriously, dude. Come out here. Hey. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a combination of a couple of things that make this encounter like frustrating. It's like, you kind of have to stun him, uh, and you have to be able to like run around. And Leon's real slow, so you get hit by the thing real easy unless you're super careful. So I gotta lure him over, get him hit by the, yeah, stun him, and then pull the button. Okay. So he should be stunned long enough, and I should be able to use the bullets from my other gun next time to stun him for the second hit. But I'm almost certain I'm gonna have to hit him three times, because this is a video game, so. Okay, here we go. Hit that button again. Don't waste any of my bullets. Just try to avoid old crazy pants here. And then when I'm ready to hit the button, start shooting him again. Okay, it's over there. Let's do this. Go, Leon, go. There we go. And just like last time, when it falls, I'm certain it's dead forever. <laughs> Let's hope that's the last of Don't that. say things like that, Leon. Man. All right, where do I go from here? Yeah, too bad you have to load an old save to get off assisted mode. Well, fuck it then. I guess we're finishing it on assisted mode. What a what a dumb choice. What a terrible, terrible way to make a game. Worried there for a sec. I can't get it out. I don't know if I should. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Hold on. I just, I just had a bottle of that. Just, just, relax, okay? just kicking around. Cool. <laughs> so, 
What are we doing now? As if that rag wouldn't be soaked with poop. You've been swimming in it, dude. But you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. Situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Good oh boy. My shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Have I seen the giant Gundam in Japan? I have, and it is cool. I have seen it. It's fucking awesome. We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Oh my god, stop. We got work to do. Some of the awkward, like... Yes, low grade flirting. <laughs> Come on, Boy Meets World, let's go. The cable car will take us down to Nest. My wristband's our ticket to ride. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost there. Yeah, I can go back to the police station now and like yeah, loot it. No. <laughs> Let me carry you. Cause uh, yeah. Yeah, isn't there like a, a side door or whatever that I can use to go back now though? Like didn't I didn't I wasn't I just at that? How's the shoulder? I don't know. I want that big gun. Elevator in the mechanics room. But she's dragging me. Yeah, you noticed that too, that Nadja? <laughs> Leon camera? Ada Wong camera. Leon camera? Ada Wong camera. Um, so I gotta, yeah, before I go in there, I gotta go back. So she's like, you're ready? And then I just leave, right? Yeah, let's go get that Magnum. How do we do it? It's like how the the um, uh, near automatic camera like drifted down slowly as you played. Uh, workers' room elevator. Uh, okay, all right. Which is back through the door I just went in. Uh, right or like no, yeah, and then right. And then, yeah, this way. Sorry, I gotta go dig around in this poop some more. Listen, good video game character butt is very important, right? So, you know, let's not let's not uh, devalue the work of the people who have to sculpt those butts. God bless them. All right, and then from here, is it back through the break room? I mean, it must be, right? Because I don't have the, um... Yeah, 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 it was this way. Okay.
Um, oh, okay, I see where I am. But I need the key for this thing, which I think I have, just not in my inventory. All right, well, let's, yeah. I don't have the, no, I don't have the stars badge yet. Yeah, no, that's right. There's a different, there's like a different weird lock thing that I have. Game full of weird fucking keys and stuff. <laughs> yes, well, Marvin's Marvin's not doing so good. Right. Okay. But n now, what do I do? Like, I can't jump down. I have to go up the rest of the. St oh, there's more stairs. Okay, I just got off the stairs early. Okay. Right, because we're at the mid, the mid level. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Typical Leon getting off too early. Ooh, wood paneling. At least Leon's got good trigger discipline. That's nice. It's nice to see in a video game character. Okay, here we go. We did it. We're back in the place that isn't all made out of janky metal. Um, so... I don't think I need to carry around any of that stuff, except I do have my, my club key. Oh, hey look. What does this do? Oh, this brings me back upstairs. Right. Take the red jewel. Uh, okay, because I'm going to need it. Finally. All right. That's right. I rode the excrement express right upstairs. Okay. So... That's the star's office, right? The PC and the, the lightning hawk. The electronically locked door. So that's, I don't have that. Um, these rooms, yeah, observation interrogation room. I don't know how to get there though. Like where's the, over here, I guess? And like right at the end of this hall. Nope, that's a different room. <laughs> okay. I might as well grab that handgun ammo. Here we go. Okay, so there's there's the it's across the art room stairs and then down. So I can take the fire escape up. I guess I should just I can just board off some of these windows. Not that that's like a mechanic that's been all that useful. Yeah, yeah, Tris, like like a diva with a bag of Doritos. Just frantically stuffing leaves into his mouth like a starving koala. There's something else in this room? 
Oh yeah, there's a safe, but like... I don't have the combo for that one, do I? Yeah, like I know there's a safe. When did I when did I get the combo for that? Like it wasn't any of this stuff. Yeah, what what is the combo for this safe? Like what's the I guess I gotta come, I don't have to come back through here, but I could. Um, also, the club key, and I don't have the heart key either. Oh my god. All right, whatever. Fucking tedious ass puzzle solving. Oh, I already got that one, yeah. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. So there's the chief's office, which I do not have the key for, but I'm not going there anyway. So we'll, we'll come back to this safe. I'm going down those stairs. The heart key is only for Claire. Interesting. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, Robo. If we don't if we don't find it um like along the way, I'll just I'll just get it myself. Hi. I don't have I just used up my last board, so I'm going to have to fight you by myself, but Right, club key is only Leon. Interesting, okay, that's cool. That makes sense that they would split it up that way. And then uh, Leon only gets one kind of Pokemon and they have to trade if you want them to. Right, if you want to get all of them, got it. Lived as he died, desperate to get a hold of his videotapes. That's actually pretty funny. Oh, gross. 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 All right. <laughs> That's right. That guy's pooped. <laughs> Grody. There you go, six to eleven. Perfect. All right. Six to eleven. Oops, nope. Oh my gosh. It's great. Again, with the Dungeons and Dragons shit, like, you'll find an ornate treasure chest. Why would you keep your badge in there? Ooh, it's a USB dongle. Wow. A dongle badge. But yeah, so much for needing that key. Let's just whoop, whoop, get in here. Right. So the key, it's, it totally just completely undermines everything we just said. It super doesn't matter if you have that key or not. For this room, at least. Because they're the same room. Oh, that's funny. There's a reflection here. Look. There's a reflection here, but not in the bathroom. Huh. <laughs> oh, hi. Ugh, grody. The room is way worse on Claire's route. Ah, interesting. All right, well, there we go. All right, so we can't get in the, ch the chef's office, but we can go back and open that cell. Nope, just went the wrong way. Okay, this way. Or uh, open the safe, I mean. And then we can go use the star's badge. 6 to 11 for uh, the waiting room safe. It was 6 to 11, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, Matilda's getting fucking kitted out. <laughs> yeah, we got some photos to develop, too. So we might as well hit that up while we're here.